Wow. There's the pictures. There's the pictures on the thread of the fucking army bust. And that is all in like um, the, a double axle trailer of a backy. It's not even on a truck, I don't think, this one. So that is a hell of a lot of stuff going through. They thought they could do it at night. In the old days, you could. With the cops, you could. But it looks as if the army is a bit unbribable at the moment. So those guys are going down. And well, imagine... Training wheels right now. Fuck. Joe, imagine how much fucking meds that is to give as primary health care to everybody who hasn't got a food parcel. For fuck's it's sake. Like, it's it's, it's, it's mind-numbing. And I hope the Hotbox Show becomes a, like a, a history lesson for people to look back over the years as to how ma mental this is that they banned fucking ciggies and booze and it's the army that are now busting you at roadblocks. Fuck, that didn't take long, eh? You know, one of the nice things about it all is everywhere I look on all of my Instagram feeds and stuff is people seem to have grown a hell of a lot of weed this year. There's people with bud and, you know, they're still locked down with it. There's loads of my friends harvesting, probably the same with you. They've got weed around, so that that's not the problem. But getting from A to B with weed, you know, there was a report came out right from the top for the UNODC this week about um, the, the, the virus our lockdowns and how the international drug trade is being affected by it. So right down from trying to get it out in your hood all the way to international narco trafficking is being seriously affected by this shit. And I, I did you see, I, I, I'm sure you all saw the picture of the fucking army roadblock coming out of Swaziland with like... <coughs> fuck, like yeah, that was a huge... <laughs> that was something like 150 tons or something. I can't remember what the actual figure was, but... Why the fuck are the army doing that? Why are we paying the army to patrol roadblocks and shit for weed? I don't get that bit. Only uh, for fighting a war. And this is the war on drugs, of course. Anyone <laughs> need to be on the fucking roads patrolling anything. They are wasting our time being on the roads, stopping people from getting on with their lives and making money and living. So they've got nothing else better to do than go and snoop in other people's business and cause and you know, stop what stop the normal daily Underworld from happening. <clears throat> well, I, I figured that they. It probably aimed more at cigarettes and alcohol, and weed is just like a byproduct of of the their target on China to stop alcohol and cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah, but and, and no, because it's the gateway yeah. drug, of course, right? But again, it boils down to why the fuck are they trying to stop alcohol and booze when we are six weeks past the fucking lockdown started with. You know, things are starting to open here and there. People can go about their daily business, but yet they're still trying to stop people from smoking and drinking and just relaxing and trying to get over the stress of them losing their jobs, their livelihoods, their fucking world is crumbled behind them. Every and now day. they still can't even get a goddamn cigarette to smoke, except for the legal ones, which are made from shit anyway, which will make their lungs and everything else even worse than they are because now they have to smoke cigarettes that have got maybe different chemicals or they're not into it. They're it's horrible... Nasty, awful. Um... <laughs> well, it's the it's, it's equivalent. Shitty, it's the equivalent of moonshine. As soon if you look at all the shit, Dan, you put a picture up on our group of those dudes mixing fucking brake fluid and meths or something in that bucket. I got yeah, a. Yeah. They, were, they were they were doing um it was like all the soft drinks that they had like spa berry and coke and whatever they're mixing it in a big tub and then they were doing good old blow train but they were pouring a bottle of into the fucking thing to drink it. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, that's hectic. I mean, there was a video that was posted. If you watch the video, I think it's the same video. Yeah, it's the same video. One that came up. The same video. At the end of the video, there's a guy that's literally comatose that's like, out. Oh, to out. Completely out. So, out, out, out. Like, dead out, almost. It's the, it's I mean, who knows if it's the same video, but I mean... In that video, they were saying Corona, Corona. So it's not like it's a, a, a video from some other time. People are doing it now. It's like the guys that are making their own booze. It's exactly the same thing. You see, there was an article of some dude, or some couple, some couple. I don't know where it was, and the the lady died, and the, and the husband also died in hospital later from drinking their own homemade booze because they didn't make it properly and they left the methanol, or whatever it was, on it and. Bob's your uncle, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be very careful with home brewing. It's it's not games, it's actual chemistry. I scored a bottle of Mampuru this week. <laughs> <laughs>